Well, the winter weather is definitely upon us, and that means we have to be prepared when we head out on the roads because there are some instances that could arise that we didn't plan for. So planning is the key to tell us how we should plan and be prepared so we can stay safe while driving this winter season. I'm very pleased to be joined by Lonnie Shalkowski, Maintenance Services Engineer with PennDOT's District 4. Lonnie, you have some really wonderful information because before we head out, we need to be prepared because things can happen. We've seen it in the past. There's been major pileups on interstates. There's been snow squalls. We need to make sure that we're safe if we get stuck in something like this, right? Yes, that's absolutely correct. We urge all motorists to not travel if they don't have to, but if they do have to travel for whatever reason, um, there's a couple of tips that I would like to provide today um, for them. Um, the main tip really is to ensure that you take with you an emergency travel kit. And in this emergency travel kit, you wanna make sure you have blankets, warm clothing, um, some water, you wanna carry a cell phone with you, anything that you need that you might be str stranded for several hours, um, because you just never know what can happen when you're traveling during inclement weather. Great advice. And I'm always afraid when I'm heading out in the winter too, like we never know when we're going to see a snow squall. What do we do if we come upon something like that? Because that's like one of my worst nightmares. Yeah, so snow squalls are really unpredictable. Um, and if we do know about them, we don't get very much warning. So it's really important that if you do encounter a snow squall in your driving um, to make sure you slow down gradually and decrease your speed um, for the existing conditions. You wanna turn on your headlights, make sure your wipers are on and um, you're using the defroster. Also, it's just very important to stay alert and really pay attention to what's in front of you. If we get stranded somewhere, is it wise to stay in our vehicle? I know a lot of people sometimes get out of the vehicle. You'll be driving by someone. You see someone standing on the side of the road. I would think that's the worst possible thing to do is stand on the side of the road. Right. We, we recommend that you do not leave your vehicle if you are stranded. Obviously, you have a um, if you have a cell phone, you want to call for help. Um, but you should always stay within your vehicle um, if you are stranded. When we're leaving, I know uh, from talking to all you wonderful people from PennDOT, you have me very well trained on 511 PA. Uh, so I have it on my phone. I have the app. I always check. I love the cameras. So tell people, how do they get the information they need so when they're heading out, they are well informed in case something is happening as they're leaving their house? Yeah, it's very important to plan ahead. And one way you can do that is to go onto our website. It's 511pa.com. It's a free website. The information is available 24-7. And you can check traffic delay warnings, traffic speeds. You can also check the weather. Um, and there's also over a thousand cameras on that website. So you can physically um, look at our roadways as we are looking at them as well. In years past, we'd say, boy, we wish we knew the conditions. Well, now we do. So for people to not take advantage of that, that's kind of silly because that is a wonderful tool. I really uh, depend on that a lot when I travel. It could definitely save you a lot of time um, before you're heading out. So you don't get stuck in construction or, you know, you're, you're not aware of the weather. You can check the weather on there and just make sure, you know, the roads are um, moving freely. That's a great point. It's not just for the bad weather, it's for the construction and everything like that. Yeah. So it does give you alerts. It's really nice. Um, and there are laws too that we have to abide by. You were saying before, like make sure your lights are on and mm -hmm. uh, your wipers. That's a law, right? That when you put yes. your wipers on, you're supposed to put your lights on as well. I don't know if people are aware of that. Yeah, that is a state law as well as removing snow and ice from your vehicle. So um, if you are driving during inclement weather and you have snow and ice on your vehicle, um, if it flies off and hits, um, you know, a vehicle behind you, um, you are responsible for what, whatever damage that may cause. Wow, that, that's important information to know. Right. But what you've seen in the past, you know, with past years when we've had some of these, you know, unexpected snowstorms or snow squalls or what, um, a lot of people, are they not prepared, that they're not taking the advice. I mean, I know too that if you have medication, you should have that in your car as well. 
I mean, if you're driving during inclement weather, you always want to prepare and make sure you have everything you need for several hours. And that would include medication or um, even for, for yourself and also for your travelers. But um, during snow squalls, it's very easy. Um, you, during snow squalls, you don't really expect them to happen. We don't have a lot of warning. So um, I think it kind of takes people off guard. Um, the snow squall is coming, but um, your best bet during a snow squall is just, you know, remain calm, um, pay attention, and just reduce all distraction, distractions in your vehicle so that you can pay attention to the road. You want to make sure you're staying in lane, in the lane that you're in. You don't want to pass vehicles or speed up to avoid a vehicle that is coming close to you. You just want to, you know, maintain the speed that's needed for the conditions that are out there.